my name's Michaela Breeze. I'm the owner, co-founder, managing director, I guess the boss of uh, Breeze's Gym in Aberdeer. I wanted to do something that I'm passionate about and something that I enjoy. And my first and foremost reason for setting up a gym was to be able to develop my own weightlifting squad and develop the sport in Wales and hopefully uh, find international stars of the future. In the very early days, when we were still planning, when we were still trying to find and negotiate um, rates and rents on, on different units and what have you, we didn't know what we were doing. We simply wouldn't be here without the support from Welsh Government. I don't think we quite realised at the start just how influential they were going to be in helping a small business to, to, to get started. I remember one of our uh, sessions, I think it was just before Christmas, and the staff from Welsh Government came in really in, in hours that they weren't timetabled to, to work um, to support us when we needed to set up a business account. But actually that kind of support in the early stages was fundamental to us getting the business plan right. Sport Wales, they've been phenomenal in the, the generosity and the grant they've afforded us to set up this fantastic free weights area. RCT, for example, have uh, helped us with the regeneration and planning to turn this church into what is now a state-of-the-art gymnasium. The process of applying for grants can be lengthy, but the support is there, the guidance is there to help, and, and there's usually somebody at the end of the phone that if you've got any questions, they can move you in the right direction. We've got several members of staff that have come through the Jobs Growth Wales scheme, keeping them on um, through the Young Recruits programme, and it's great to see youngsters coming out of um, university or who are currently unemployed. When I was competing, I was in control, and that was a nice feeling. I knew that if I put the preparation in, that the results should come. But I've tried to take the attitude that I had for sport into business. But one thing I will say is I've lost more sleep, and I've been far more stressed setting up a business than I ever was when I was competing. Has it been worth it? I, I'd like to think so. Um, we've still got snagging issues that we're dealing with, um, but I think we're coping with, with the challenges that are thrown at us. And I'm pleased to say that you know, we're, we're doing okay. Uh, financials, we can always do better, but we're, we're doing okay, we're holding our own. For me, it's about putting back into the sport what I was given as a youngster. Um, and that is, I guess, my internal drive for doing this. The business side of things is obviously essential to make sure that I can uh, still do that and, and deliver that.